Hello and welcome to Live at Heart's uh, video about how to submit on Gigmit for Live at Heart. First, you go to Gigmit's homepage. The right hand corner to sign up. If you don't have an account. If you have an account already, yeah, you can use that account. But sign up if you don't have an account. Here uh, you can choose if you're an artist or if you organize events. Uh, I guess you will be an artist since we are the events, so register as an artist. Here you fill in uh, the name of the band. If you're a live act or DJ, in this case I think you're a live act since you're not we aren't taking in any DJs on Live at Heart. Then you choose your genre. After that, if you don't find a genre, you can add a genre. I wouldn't suggest to do that, but uh, that's the thing. Uh, then your zip code, then your city, and then your country. And I mean all the countries is here. Then you click next step 202. When you come to the second page, you fill in your email address, and then your password, then your first name, and then your last name. Then you go to I agree the terms and condition of private policy, and then you go to the create profile for basic membership. So now you have created uh, an account uh, with uh, your band's name up here. So when you get in here, you take artist page up here in the left corner. Then you land on this page where you need to add stuff. So first of all, let's do a short info in this uh, right corner. I will just write uh, something right now because uh, hello hello then we need a picture of the band so we show some files and I will just take that one and we have a nice picture of myself here then we put a link and this is kind of important um, because this is like the videos uh, that you can you can choose anything really you can choose a video soundcloud bandcap anything um, you can't do spotify because it's not certain that the promoter has spotify so i usually go for youtube because then you have both picture and sound uh, sometimes you just have a picture that is still but you know it's good so i will take that and add uh, my youtube link in this case it was the magnets young and wild but Hopefully it's your music, not theirs. Uh, then it's your address, and we just put founded like in 2010 here. Then we go down, and then we have to get our Facebook, um, and we fill in that. And we put in our Twitter, SoundCloud, YouTube, whatever, on this one. You don't need to fill in all of them. One thing that I suggest though is to take the add another link in the bottom and actually put in your home page. That's the best thing. And then you can upload your press info that's uh, any file, usually a PDF. You can add releases like this if you have releases you can add them here. Uh, past gigs is pretty cool to put in there as well and upcoming gigs if you have any. Uh, then when everything is ready you press save then it comes up uh, a thing like this saying that oh you can share your profile on Facebook and Twitter sure you can but I'd rather take cancel right now on that now you can see also that <laughs> I have been pretty bad I only have 31% of all the things that I can actually fill in here uh, but that's just because I'm just gonna make a test video here and everything and what you can do right now is to find gigs click up here here you have the gigs they're suggesting but you're looking for live at heart so you take modify search here up in the right corner then you get to this screen and to choose uh, the event but you want live at heart so you go to the search term and just write heart and then take show gigs in the bottom there. And suddenly you get live at heart. And you click on live at heart. And here you are right now. And 
you want to apply so you take the yellow button here apply now when it looks like this it looks like oh you only have a choice to make it pro or gold the thing is that it's you can actually get it for free and this is how I'm gonna show you how to do it so we take a test for free when you get here you see that it's zero uh, as the amount uh, then you can choose between PayPal and credit card and direct debit that only works in Germany as I think it is then you put in your billing information your first name last name address line so then you have this one VIT number this is if you want to put it into your tax things uh, it's not needed uh, to do it in my case I will choose PayPal instead of the credit card and it's changed like this and you don't actually need to have uh, fill out all the credit card information to um, gigmit uh, the thing is though with PayPal you can actually pay with credit card on PayPal so it could be an easier thing anyway uh, to do it I will just pray the press PayPal here to get further on so you do your payment with PayPal or the credit card I can't show you here how that's done uh, that is um, secret information so you have to learn how to do that but uh, I can tell you that you don't have to have any money really on the PayPal account to do it so it's just needed a PayPal account to, to do the thing um, so you go through the whole process and actually no money is withdrawn from the account so it doesn't really matter if it's an empty PayPal account you use after you have done that you come back to this screen when you've done everything right uh, you come to this picture where <laughs> this uh, guy is banging his head into the phone and he says thanks live uh, of course it's live at heart here so then you press and the beat goes on which is the blue button and now you're back uh, where the screen is for application for live at heart uh, so now you can of course press apply now and do the application process which I will go through in a minute but so now I don't want to pay for gigmeet even though I think it's a good thing I mean you can apply for quite many festivals especially if you're gonna be in the Ines project it's gonna be around the year so I would suggest to have uh, a payment to um, to to the site but if I wanted to totally free then you go up to the black part up here when it says your artist name in my case it says live at all stars and then you press here and it goes down a little bit and there you can see in the green there it says manage premium subscription click on that one my subscription things here and my status and then in the bottom here it says cancel subscription so I will click on that here you have several options where you can use shoes like not bookings not enough satisfying no feedback from promoters whatever you like but in some cases you have to write something so uh, I usually take I can't afford the subscriptions anymore then I take cancel subscription then you come to this page thank you for trusting us and your premium subscription has ended and ends a month away because uh, you still had a pro uh, thing going on but you will have a free account on gigmit uh, from now on and you can turn on the pro if you want to for example uh, go for their premium gigs and not just the free ones but now you have an account so we're standing on the application uh, site again and we take apply now and this time we do it with our new account that actually is a pro account so now when we have when we have done all the payment stuff we can apply let's do an application so if you go in here uh, you they want some information for you um, 
it's your uh, name and this is for the contract because I mean you do a contract with a gig place so they want your name and numbers here and if you come down here it's the tax rate and you can skip it if you come into this page it says fee okay live at heart doesn't pay any fees because it's a showcase and we are showcasing new product so we don't pay any bands for anything of that uh, the thing is that you can put in the number if you like to but because have this box checks that it's fixed fee negotiable because we will probably be goes down. If we can't negotiate it down, it actually will be like said in the contract that you should get some money which you can't. So I'd rather see that you're writing zero into the fee and then we take apply and next. Then you come to writer. It's the same thing here. It's like the writer that we have is the writer that we have on Live at Heart. So of course you put up your technical writer because we want to know if you have a projector or if you have anything any special stuff like that and what you actually need but if you need like 10 meters of fire or explosion and confetti no we won't supply that and uh, you have to supply it on your own if you're allowed to have it in a small venue like this you said no and then take your technical writer you can actually upload it as a PDF here um, and then you take apply and next here you come to accommodation of course Levitart is not providing any accommodations um, so but we need to know how many people you are anyway uh, because of stage performances and other things so and also if you have drivers and stuff like that it could be good for us to see so you fill in how many travel people you have how many is traveling with you then we come to contact person additional notes and here it's rather important that yeah you fill in everything there it is here you have additional claims um we don't agree on so much additional claims really but if there's something that you really need let's say that uh, you're handicapped and you need a ramp for your wheelchair and stuff like that that is important for us to know for your performance we will try to see if we can fix that so if anything there you just write it or you just skip it and go to apply and next now you come to the end page here you can go over it everything you can just press edit if you forgot something uh, I mean, if everything is totally correct, you just send, take, press send application and it will be in. So, you want to see if your uh, application is at live at heart. Then you take a booking and then you take applications. And if you are, if you have done everything successful, the live at heart should be in this box. And also you should see the status on it if you can actually see if we have seen the application if we have done something around it and you will find out as well if it's accepted or not I mean when we accept it or re uh, reject it we the, an email will come to your mailbox so you don't have to be in here every day and check if we have done something but uh, here is the overview of all the applications then you have also okay, offers if someone is offering you something in, in shows and watch lists and invites um, but that's another story and feel free to go around on gigmates it's a pretty good site actually to uh, try to get other gigs in Europe 